Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Sanborn uh, from the Mayo Clinic. I'm a professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine, and I'm uh, here today to talk about the results of a new study of mesalamine for the treatment of ulcerative colitis. The name of the study is Once Daily Dosing of Oral Mesalamine is Effective uh, for Maintenance of Remission in Patients with Ulcerative Colitis. The history of this study uh, goes back really to the 1950s and 60s when patients uh, with ulcerative colitis uh, began to be treated with sulfasalazine. And you'll all be familiar that sulfasalazine has some side effects from the sulfa moiety that require it to be administered in divided doses. And later, when delayed release oral mesalamine was discovered uh, in the 1980s, the clinical trials just carried that dosing convention of multiple times a day dosing into the clinical trials, and that's what ultimately led to regulatory approval and how we use the uh, therapies. So in recent years, there have been uh, several uh, mesalamine formulations for ulcerative colitis that have been approved, uh, which can be administered once a day. And so what we wondered is whether the older uh, delayed release formulation, uh, Asacol, could also be administered once a day. So this study set out to uh, address that. So we identified patients uh, with ulcerative colitis who were in clinical remission and were receiving uh, maintenance therapy with delayed release oral mesalamine in divided doses uh, ranging from 1.6 up to 2.4 grams per day. And those patients were recruited into the trial, uh, stratified according to their baseline um, a salamine dose and then randomized to twice daily dosing versus once daily dosing of whatever the dose they were taking it at uh, baseline was. We followed the patients out for 12 months. The primary endpoint of the trial uh, was maintenance of clinical remission at six months and that occurred in 90.5% uh, of the patients who were rece receiving once daily dosing and 91 0.8% uh, of the patients who were receiving twice daily dosing. So the difference between the two doses was just 1.3% and that obviously was not statistically significant. So we concluded that once daily dosing and twice daily dosing of delayed release oral mesalamine as maintenance for therapy for ulcerative colitis was equivalent or non-inferior. Uh, that is, they're the same and really you could choose to use either dosing strategy. We then uh, followed the patients out for 12 months, and uh, the uh, maintenance rates dropped down into the mid-80s for uh, both treatment groups, but again, they were equivalent in terms of the overall results of the trial uh, at 12 months. So at least out through 12 months, it looks like uh, delayed release oral mesalamine in the form of Asacol can be uh, administered once daily for maintenance for remission at doses up to 2.4 grams uh, per day. In addition to uh, the clinical uh, remission endpoint, we also looked at uh, compliance or adherence with drug therapy and then patient preferences um, with respect to uh, whether they preferred once a day dosing or multiple times per day dosing. So we actually, after three months, we couldn't see any difference uh, between the once a day and twice daily dosing. So it didn't have a big, it had an impact on adherence, a small impact that was significant through about three months. And then after that, the, the adherence to treatment was about the same. However, if you ask patients which therapy they preferred, they clearly preferred uh, once a day dosing. So the trial uh, recruited 1,023 patients. It's the largest trial ever uh, conducted in ulcerative colitis, and I think the results are uh, uh, quite definitive and uh, lay open uh, a treatment strategy to allow uh, this formulation of mesalamine to be given uh, once a day. So thank you.